Today we're going to cover a topic that is mostly fueled by popular demand rather than something I ever thought I would need to cover, and that is how to get training manuals, and by extension, weapon and trap designs. So, it seems very, very simple. You get trap designs by recycling traps, you get weapon designs by recycling weapons, and then you get training manuals by recycling survivors, heroes, and defenders. And I think that last point there is why these things are in such demand, because obviously, as I said, you get them from survivors. So so not only do you need to use them for survivors, but you need to use training manuals for your heroes as well, which is something you're leveling up constantly, and god forbid you get into defenders like I did, it's just going to be all the more expense. Whereas trap and weapon designs just correlate to the specific weapons. So you can see weapons and uh, melee weapons alike all use weapon designs, and then traps of course use something completely different. I think that's weighted way too much towards training manuals. I don't think it's fair that one manual should use three main things and the others should use two, so I think that's why I'm always getting asked about training manuals and how to get them and that's why I'm talking about the most efficient way today so the most efficient way is kind of a catch there's no real fastest way that I'm currently aware of in this immediate version of the game dungeons are in the game and I was going to talk about how to speedrun dungeons in today's video however I am going to cover that but I think it's way better to do that in a separate video because these will not always be in the game in fact what I want to talk about in this part of the video is the fact that whatever event might be going on at the time of watching this video of you're in the future, a year from now, whatever, the most efficient way to get manuals will most likely be running whatever event that is currently available, getting those tickets, and buying the current llamas. So, I'm actually going to spend some of my tickets, buy one right on camera for you guys, and show you that when you buy these event llamas, you can get a lot of different items. You can see I'm getting weapons and traps, and uh, soon here I'll get a defender, and maybe even a purple hero. And I know that from these as well, I got unlucky here, you can actually get survivors. So, if I just mark these for retire, you'll see that I'm going to get there you go 125 manuals 100 designs 55 trap designs these are very very good for that in fact what i was going to say in this part of the video is that you usually get north of 200 manuals and that's actually quite true in fact if i was to get a you know purple survivor here i don't think you can get legendary ones from pyro llamas currently or if i got you know maybe a couple heroes instead of one you can get significantly more training manuals and if you just open a lot of these you can get lots and lots of training manuals now for the uh, a future you know future proofing this this is currently how it is in the game i don't know if this will change but you can get adventure tickets from pretty much everything they updated it so that four player missions can give you tickets again adventure tickets might be something different in the future but whatever tickets are in the game at the time you should be able to get them from normal missions which is how i've actually gotten this many uh, i personally haven't been speedrunning dungeons i've gotten north of eight thousand just from playing the game so if you passively get these tickets even if you have everything from that current set buying these llamas would be a great way to unlock those trap designs weapon designs and training manuals so the other way is kind of the less popular way and that is of course just buying upgrade llamas yes if you buy the upgrade llamas you can see what you're going to get you can unlock you know designs and everything just from these normal ones you're going to want to be looking for legendary survivors and legendary heroes of course if you do that you should use code mist at your checkout you know at least help me out along the way i'd appreciate that but you don't necessarily need to buy upgrade llamas there is another way still so i'm gonna have to switch to my monitor capture here i like to use fortnite db there are lots of different sites in fact other people like to use free the v bucks that's kind of what they use just to see what v bucks are available and you can see all the stuff listed but i really really like how fortnite db at least as of recording this takes everything off to the side and lists everything available you never know what's going to be on this sidebar i mean there might be a mythic survivor there might be you know legendary survivors currently there are only two survivors available down here in these purple zones so if you're really looking for training manuals on this given day then this might be a bad day for you but you can totally go through all these different alerts and just to show you how that correlates in game it just said that that triple atlas had a husk buster so if i go and hunt that down in the 108 zone there you go copper husk buster available to earn so of course upon completion of that mission i will get a husk buster now obviously if your main goal was training manuals like i said you'd want to hunt down all the survivors but that's just a really really good way to get all these different designs and that's how i personally get them so to sum it all up the best way is llamas event ones are free and something that you can grind for uh v buck ones are tricky not everybody wants to spend them i completely respect that but it doesn't uh, change the fact that they are a very good source of these things like if you were capable of just spending 25 bucks and get all 50 upgrade llamas you can today that would yield a lot of designs but of course i would never recommend that because that's a very expensive way to accomplish something and then of course i never did mention this but the uh, collection book is another way to do it i don't currently have any of these rewards available but there are certain situations where you can have 2500 2500 or 2500 and you can pick whichever one you want i don't necessarily recommend going all in on the collection book you don't 
need to be going all through your rewards. That's actually not an efficient way to do it. You'll spend more upgrading heroes to 130 in here than you will actually be getting designs. But as you passively slot stuff, uh, you can totally unlock different rewards of the collection book. Like as of recording this event, Hybrid's not the greatest hero in the game. So if you don't have him in the book already, you can totally do that. And better yet, currently, as of recording this, again, I'm very careful to make this future-proof, when you recycle heroes that you uh, don't have in the book, you'll actually get all the manuals and everything you spent on them as if you were recycling them, but then they will also go to your collection book. So you can actually double dip there. You can get the rewards from the collection book and from the hero and all of that in between. So that's another thing. Uh, I, I don't necessarily recommend this unless you really know what you're doing, but if you are aware of any duplicate heroes here, for example, I'll do it right now. I have two hybrids. I already have one in the book, and I already have one that I can use. So this second hybrid, I could just get 225 manuals just like that. I did that because you don't need two. I have one in the book, and I have one that I could level up if I ever wanted to use them. The second one can't be using the same support, and the same thing with Stonefoot Crash. I don't need two of her. I could just get another 225 manuals. Again, I really don't recommend getting rid of heroes unless you seriously know what you're doing. I highly recommend keeping a copy of every single hero available because you never know what they're going to change. You, you just never know. They do make updates to this game and sometimes they change stuff that we thought we knew. And uh, weapon designs, of course, is maybe not the main focus of today's video, but if you know what you're doing and you got lots of duplicates like I do, just clicking random schematics, you can see just how quickly those designs add up. You can get thousands of designs if you know what weapons you want to get rid of and some of these older older schematics will actually give you perk up that was kind of an old event that's not the, the point of today's video but you can get the perk up and re-perk from some of these older older weapons when they changed up the system but i clearly still have a few of those lying around but same with the heroes uh, you want to hold on to at least a copy of every single weapon because unless you really know what you're doing you could be making a devastating mistake because hybrid for example i got rid of them all willy-nilly but this too comes around once a year i had exactly one one spare that might not be true in the future you know i might not get another chance to buy them very soon so i'm very very careful with these things so hopefully that cleared up on how to get manuals i see the recording right now with some edits i'm going to cut out i mean we're over eight minutes which is surprising to me because this is uh, to me and other late game players such a simple topic but i get asked literally every single day how do i get training manuals and i think it's fair enough to put all of my knowledge into one video and show you guys just how to get them obviously open llamas look for mission alerts get rid of heroes you don't need that's kind of the best blanket way to do it obviously i'll be uploading a video on how to speedrun dungeons i've been working on it with a friend of mine you know mod of the stream evo he's very very good at speedrunning dungeons and that'll be in a separate video i'll link it below once we finish that and that'll give you a very very good way for that event but of course for any future events where you might be getting lots and lots of tickets and opening lots and lots of event llamas i will try to make guides on those videos as well subscribe stay tuned to make sure that you guys don't miss out on any of that thank you guys so much for watching once again you know use code missile support the channel subscribe if you're new like the video if you liked it dislike if you disliked it hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a nice day <laughs>